Hello, my name's Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanrun.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. I'm continually posting on Twitch, YouTube, Discord, Reddit, Twitter, wherever it is you like to get your information at. Make sure to follow to get notified when we go live next, as well as hear about any potential uh, assets that I might see value in and might be posting about at that time. On my website, I have a blog. Go to ethanren.com. At the top right, you'll see a blog button. Click it. You'll be presented with a bunch of different articles, um, whether it be about investing, gaming, technology, web design. There's a lot of different topics I cover, so you might find something interesting. Here's an example of what one of the blog posts might look like. As you can see, it has more in-depth information about some of the products we cover here on this channel, such as the top holdings. Every page also has its own video that coincides with the content. And at the very bottom, there is also a section where you can leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Pro provide me some feedback on how I can improve. I'd really appreciate it. Lastly, on the bottom right corner of every page of the website, there's a Discord widget. If you click it, you are basically able to view my Discord in its entirety. Uh, you do not need to make an account or log in to be able to view it. Um, there's a little hamburger button, top left corner, click it. You can go to various different channels. And if there's a picture or chart that you find interesting, click it. Click the open original text. It'll open the full size image in another tab. So what is the next thing we're going to be covering today? Well, we're going to be covering a running... We're going to be covering a symbol we've covered many times before. Um, let's just start by looking at this video we made nine months ago called That Time We Shorted Polin, e -Pol. This is the iShares Trust Polin ETF. This is a Polin ETF denominated in USD, accessible to US investors. Let's, let's just hear what I had to say during this time period. So the next symbol we are going to be getting into, if you're in the Discord, you already knew about it, make sure to join the Discord at ethanren.com. It's right, available right on the homepage. Click the join button. It's free, completely free, always will be free. I don't know, TradingView has been uh, doing a lot recently, I guess, changing their website. We do have this pretty solid resist here. I wouldn't be putting my money on that line. That's no, sir, no shot. And that's it. That's it. So as you can see, as you can see, this is filmed August 9th, 2021, available on my YouTube channel. It's been available on my YouTube channel. Nobody's hiding anything from you. Com brutal honesty, always, right? As you can see, we identify this clear downward trending price channel. Very obvious. It's actually a very nice looking price channel, isn't it? If only if it was just uptrending. So, you, you know, it's a little, so it was growing over time, but it's not. It's actually decreasing over time. The country as a whole, e -pole, is decreasing over time. The dividend on ePoll is actually low relative to a lot of these symbols as you can see right here. I have this watch list. These are US derivatives that are representative of foreign underlying. So like ePoll is uh, Poland, EWI, Italy. Uh, and then you have EWT, EWY, EWA, D EWW, EWJ, which is Japan, right? EWG, which is Germany. You have all these different symbols. A lot of them grow over time and offer massive dividends like 3%, 4%, 5% even, you know, like really good dividends. I love these symbols. I trade them all the time, both up and down. EPL, on the other hand, only offers a 0.74% dividend, which is minuscule in comparison to a lot of the other symbols that I just referenced. It's peers, you might say. So where is this company today? Again, this was filmed at $21.76. It was at the resistance of this downward trending price channel. Could not have been more clear. Let's see where it's at today. 
Again, we were talking about this in Discord. Ah, oh, spoilers. We were talking about this in Discord. Make sure you go check that out. You have access to the stock bot and a lot of other great resources. We ha we haven't been opening these, but as you can see, look at this chart. We made the video. Twenty-one dollars seventy-six cents. Twenty-one dollars seventy-six cents. Where is it? It's at like twelve dollars, guys. Twelve dollars. Well, let's pull it up in chart trading view. Need we need to see it in tr trading view. Guys, it's literally the same chart. It's literally the same chart. It's literally the same chart. It could not have played out more perfectly. We made this at $21.76. Boom, right here in this candle. And it proceeded to tank. How much? How much? Let's measure. As much as 50% in the major market index. Currently 38.54%. That is huge. That... Out of all the indexes we've talked about, because, you know, markets as a whole globally over the past year have been relatively sl sluggish, right? But that might be damn near the worst performer of all of them. So bad. And that was, uh, we were there. We were able to recognize this overbought nature represented by the RSI. Look at that. Look at that. Represented by the downward trending price channel and the resistance in play. Obvious. Obvious. We, we were able to recognize this at the top so that we could potentially move out of positions in that country and then maybe even open new short positions and make gains on the downside over the past year which we were able to do you're only able to do this though if you recognize when these things have opportune times to buy and opportune times to sell every good story has a beginning a middle and an end and right now i'm filming the end of this story that i started a year ago right that's what we're doing we're recapping these trades that we placed over the past year so All right, so just to add a little bit of real-time input. So as you can see, way back when, in 2021, we had identified a potential short opportunity in ePoll. Um, we made a video talking about it, explaining all the reasons why we felt Poland at that time was potentially overvalued, right? We stated all the same indicators you guys see me use in every single one of my videos consistently, hit after hit after hit after hit. You saw us talking about the RSI. Again, we're looking at a monthly chart. You saw us talking about the RSI. You saw us talking about this downward trending price channel. This is an example of when you want to trade with the trend, right? Um, Poland is not like the United States, at least as represented by this chart. In the United States, our major market indexes grow continually, decade over decade over decade. But as you can see here, you're looking at 15, 17 years of price history, and it just continues to go down. Because of this, you want to be trading with the trend. This trend is a downward trending price channel. And because of that, it makes provides even more confidence to be entering a potential short in a uh, asset like this. So after that, we entered the short and we made it all the way down. It was a 50% decrease in this asset. Amazing. We then made this video that you guys are watching right now. This is that time we shorted, which we recapped this trade. I'm basically explaining to you what we identified at the top why we are now closing out this trade at the bottom right i'm about to get into that right but it's recapping these trades that we've made in poland time and time again over and over and over again so let's see what else i had to say 2170 to the very bottom that was 51.43 percent that sold off like harder than any other country be happy u.s assets aren't down like that right if you go from the very top very top that was that didn't change at all one year later, after having made this video, when the company was at $21.76, we stated it was overbought. Look, the RSI was high, downward trending price channel. What happened? From the exact price point, we were talking about it, straight down, direct path, not no 
uh, zigzags, you know, it's very direct, very easy to hold without getting emotional and scared, right? Couldn't have been better. So, well, what a coincidence. I think e was a very solid trade over, over the past year that he could have been a part of, but it's okay. It's not too late. You can now play it back to the upside with us, right? If you put your bids in, right, down here, you could expect as much as a 78% gain. That's massive. Again, in a major market index, collect that 2.71% dividend. That's a pretty solid dividend, too, in its own right. You know, the S&P is what, like 1.4? NASDAQ's like 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So very good dividend on top of that. Uh, again, because of the downward trending price channel, Poland is one of the only, not only countries, but one of the few countries that actually is not growing over five-year periods, 10-year periods. So I wouldn't really want to be in there forever. But if you wanted to play in that range, makes a lot of sense. It also makes a lot of sense considering we just covered uh, VGK, which is the European Vanguard derivative, US derivative that you can all, all have access to. ePoll, you should also, also be able to easily get access to through, through your brokerage because it's an iShares us derivative right shouldn't have any any problems buying these if you were interested uh, but a lot of european indexes are currently at their supports and finding like actual like they're bouncing look over the past month and a half we're only six days into this month but over the past month and six days it's up 25 percent, guys 25 percent, and that's because it's down here touching this uh tr tr trend support as well as a lot of major other major market indexes in Europe. So definitely one to keep your eye on, have on your watch list. Pretty sure that's everything we need to say about Poland. My name Okay. So in that video, I basically recapped our entire trade as we from 2021 when we entered our short position. We showed how successfully that went. We had 50% move to the downside. It's amazing. Um, Poland is a uniquely interesting company or country to be playing like this because it's one of very few of the e-related foreign exchange derivatives like I covered. There's EWJ for Japan, there's EWY for Korea. There's all of these different U.S. De dollar denominated derivatives that allow you to gain exposure to these foreign assets that we trade often here. After having explained everything necessary, and if you want to go even more in detail, this video is publicly available on my YouTube channel. Go check that out. We then put in a future projection. We stated the reason I'm making this video now, recapping this short, and then putting in a future projection for a long is because the, the same RSI we used to identify it at the top was now at the bottom. Look at that. This is a supportive... Uh, indicating a bounce potentially we also have this downward trending price channel and while it is downward trending it's current actively at support and has this upside potential of as much as 79 percent as quoted in the video 79 percent it's pretty big right that's really significant that's kind of huge actually when you think about it um current market indexes you know are up a fraction of this 79 percent 79 percent is huge well let's look at where poland is today guys ready ready epol is currently trading at a price point of 19 dollars and 27 cents hitting a high of 21 dollars and 15 sense guys this is the exact same chart this is the exact same chart all the lines are still in place all of all of these support levels are the exact same the downward trending price channel is the exact same the rsi is the exact same we are currently looking at the weekly let me switch it back to the monthly for you guys there these these are both monthly charts as you can see from that bottom support line where we made the video not only did it completely fill out that expected 79%, it filled it out on time, so within the time allotted in the video. And not only that, it went above and beyond, totaling a 100%
move in the country. How many other countries over the past year, less than eight, 10 months, saw a 100% gain? How many other countries did that? I don't think any did. I don't think any did. There were a lot of countries running in Europe that did extremely well over the past couple of months. And I even talked about that in the video. If you go to my YouTube channel, you could look up videos like VGK. You could look up a lot of other videos that we've covered in, in Europe one year ago. Um, and again, this is that time we shorted. So not only did we su successfully make the video at the top, we capitalized on a 50% move to the downside. We then put in a future pr projection of 80 plus percent. And here it is. It ran a hundred percent within the time period completely filling out the expected gain on this chart that's this is full circle guys this is accuracy back to back to back to back when you guys like really go through and look at my vods guys you can literally see when i cover symbols like th these are not one-offs these are not accidents th these are not random you you can watch a vod from beginning to end and just see hit 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 back to back to back as i cover right and not only that we're able to successfully go from top to bottom bottom to top there's not many other people who really move on these big time scales like me there's really not like you you really can't point at anyone who has the accuracy on these gigantic time frames we aren't moving one minute campbells one minute candles 0.5 percent one percent intraday we aren't moving these five minute we aren't even moving these hourly candles we're out here focusing on monthly and weekly time frame is bigger the bigger the time frame the better smaller time frames are really subservient to these bigger time frames and it's important to always focus on this bigger picture right it's all important to always focus on this bigger picture. It really could not have gone more successfully, right? It could not have gone more successfully. It was pretty direct of a route as well, right? Um, it's about as straight of a line as it gets. Um, people during this, like this was a two month period of sideways action, but guess what? It proceeded to keep running growth, growth. It went sideways for a whole month. It went sideways for two months. The month after that, m more than doubled. Look at that. Came down half, but what, over that three-month period, it made a huge leap, guys. These huge leaps. Pulled back again for a month. A month at a time. Made another huge multi-month leap. C continuous growth of 50%. Pulled back as much as 13%. From that 13% low, ran 20% in a singular month. Came up a 2%, pulled back about 4% for a solid month. That was just a solid month of that. What happened after that? Proceeded to run an additional 25% off the top. Again, these are compounding. So, now that we've covered all of this in ePoll, let's go back to, to, to the weekly. As you can see, during this time period, it was using the weekly 20 moving average roughly as a support and is currently sitting on that weekly 20 moving average. Now, this again, RSI is overbought, RSI is overbought. There's a lot of indicators telling me here that ePoll may not be the greatest investment at this exact moment. But there are a lot of other countries actively showing signs of growth, right? Like the U.S. or the Asian, the Asian region in in its entirety, right, is showing a lot of growth. So, because of this, you kind of have these directions going back back and forth. It, it it's not as cut and dry as it was a year or two ago. That shit looks crazy. Yeah, man. Honestly, I quite like trading ePool. I feel like this is one of my f favorite products to be trading. I really like um, trading foreign derivatives. I feel every investor in their portfolio should have exposure to foreign markets at all times. Um, again, when you're investing in a singular stock, right, relative to buying a US-based fund, less like uh, the S&P, for example, 
The d differential in the standard deviation between holding a singular stock and a fund like the S&P is as much as a 75% reduction in that risk or, or the standard deviation. You could then further reduce the risk of holding the S&P by an additional 40% by diversifying your portfolio internationally. Diversification is your best friend as an investor, and you should always try and have exposure to all of these foreign markets. Be involved in as many countries as possible. You should have exposure to Europe. You should have exposure to Asia. We saw this oh, this outperformance across the European regions, right? Clearly, you know, EPOL ran 100% in the same time it took other countries to run half that, right? So we saw this outperformance across Europe. And we're going to continue to see these upward drafts across the rest of the world. But Europe, for example, may not experience those same upward drafts, but they're going to be going against each other. Because of this, we could see a flag here in ePoll, which is what I would expect. Now, I wouldn't be taking any new positions in Poland. You could potentially expect a bounce here up as much as 10 to 12 13 percent this resistance line is in place for a reason it's been in place since the last time we shorted this right um and it's because this particular asset has touched this red line multiple times in its price history if you were to potentially be purchasing right now you're putting yourself at risk of entering a short and then being out of the money by as much as 14 percent if you're doing contracts that could be very bad um and there could be a lot of flagging here for a while. And just by, as much as 168 days, that could be six months of sideways action. As you can see, even last time when we ran, when we did this, I'll bring it back to the monthly to show you. So the charts are the same. When we did this last time, right? Got to go back to the super previous chart not Roku. When we first made our video in 2021, when we were at the, the last peak of Poland, it was $21.76. It was in this candle right here. Now, if you would have entered contracts, it took an additional four months of flagging. I'm telling you guys this from personal experience, personal experience, previous success, both up and down. It took pre about four months of sideways flagging. I like to use shares personally. I like whether I'm going up or down, it's it's in shares personally. So sideways movement for me isn't that big of a deal. You know, it stays flat. I may be paying a borrow cost depending on the company, depending on the asset, depending on the brokerage, 1%, 2%, 5%, whatever. But sideways movement isn't that rough if, 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 if you're in shares. But if you're in a contract, that could be four to five there was four months of like sideways movement and i would kind of expect that to happen again honestly um again speaking from experience speaking of from previous success i would expect a, a, at least like 150 days of kind of flagging here because if you're living in poland if you're a governing official if you're a bank in poland you don't want this to go down necessarily do you so there's going to be a lot of resistance at the resistance to say the least um yeah i whiling with all the trend lines i do a lot of ta a lot of uh quantitative analysis i i, I try to stay out of all the he said she said headlines right that are kind of wishy-washy people just making shit up to explain the movements on the, uh, on the charts instead of talking about the actual movements on the chart um but yeah, so that's our the current state of Poland. Should I put a future projection in place so we can uh, come back to this video one year from now and see we did the bottom top to bottom. We did the bottom to top of over 100%. Just do, the, do it again. Um, again, I'm not entering any sort of short position on Europe anytime soon. Let's say 150 days from now. Let's say it touches this red line at some point. Let's say it's extremely overbought and touches this red line at some point. Let's, let's use the permanent. At a point where it touches this red line, someone might see value in a position like this. 
They would ride it down to the previous support where it bounced twice. Again, this was last time. This was the time before that. That would be a gain of 63% to the downside if you were trading in shares short with a maximum downside potential of 80%. It has touched this green line in the past multiple times, three times, as you can see here. So we are going to let this simmer right here. I am not entering a short on Poland, but give it some time because, again, I, I explained the four months of sideways movement. If we go back to the previous top, it was one, two, three, four, five months of sideways movements. If we go back to a previous example, there's a huge flag here, huge flag. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months, right? So it could easily push into that red line, especially when you consider the global macro perspective of where other countries are currently positioned and their projected growth. Um, again, Asia is a very undervalued region to be allocating money into right now and i see a lot of value over there and you know to get kind of tunnel visioned and focused on the micro of a singular country would be not wise in a world that again has tens 20s like all ten, all these different exchanges right tse asx looking for my arrow I don't see it. Hmm. Well, I'll use a trend line for now. Right into there. Just something to keep an eye on. That's pretty much everything I have to say about Poland. We're going to be getting into our next symbol now, guys. Thank you so much. I'd really appreciate if you guys follow um, or like the video. If you guys are watching this on YouTube. Um, well, let's get into our next symbol.